uh, these lower slopes along that we've been driving by, an abundance of material. As I said, some of that stuff is clear, it's been cleaned off, it's probably used strictly for grazing, but it has been uh, at least cultivated at one stage. But for the most part, it's all tree covered. And the topography, the irregular topography is uh, covered by trees. But if you, and I, I found today that driving around, riding around in a bus, well elevated off the road with somebody else driving is a much better way to see this topography <laughs> than what I'm driving around trying to hold on and look out the windows, uh, particularly in uh, uh, the curvy roads that you have in this part of the country. With hillsides like that, yeah. Uh, for the most part, when I was driving around the three days I spent out here, I was down in the valleys. And they're very curvy. Now, some of these uplands, if you look at the topo sheets, there are portions of the topo sheet in the, that I put in the guidebook. Some of these uplands have, well, there's one ridge, there's one upland that has a road that goes totally across uh, the county. And I think there's another, well, there's a drainage divide between what goes into the Monongahela uh, to the east and what goes into the Ohio to the west. That drainage divide runs the whole way down through Washington and Greene County. And it's a continuous upland, and I think most of it has a road along it, if I remember correctly. We, we, so, we, we passed it as we came from Jollytown westward for our lunch spot. Okay. The, wasn't there, that was the divide. Right, yeah. But some of these divides go on for a long way. And as I, you can tell from this one up here, are we going straight ahead and we leave? No. Oh, we're going to turn around. That's no, all right. I don't know where that goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't follow it either, but... Uh, 